What's up guys, I am on my way out to Temecula again today. If you haven't noticed, I go to Temecula like once a month. Uh, I speak to a group of real estate agents out there. We call it a tech lab. We're really showing them like how to use marketing and social media and online tools to get their business out there. So today we are discussing video scripts. I think so many people want to use video, they just don't know what to say. And so I actually wrote five video scripts for them. <laughs> five video scripts that will basically show them how to introduce themselves, talk about the real estate market that's currently going on in their area, talk about the community that they are in, their, uh, what was the other one? Talk about mistakes uh, that people make when buying or selling a home in any time of the year. So, you know, things like not interviewing their mortgage lender, not shopping around for the right mortgage, not doing a home inspection, things like that. Uh, and then the last one was basically, not really a script, but more of kind of an interview guide so that you can actually interview uh, contractors that you work with and, and use the advice that they give um, to their audience and, and helping you look like you know a lot because hopefully you do uh, as a real estate agent. So we're talking about like interviewing solar guys and landscapers and uh, water heater installers and roofers and painters and cabinet guys and all those, right? And just bringing that value to your audience. So that's what the class is all about um, and just helping them get comfortable with the idea of doing more videos. So somebody asked me last month, basically help them write a script and we're going to come up with five. So Maybe if you're interested uh, and you see this, I will show you how you can download, um, we call these things lead magnets, right? So it's like, give me your email and I'll give you our thing. Uh, but anyway, maybe I'll put the link for this in the description or wherever we put this so that you guys can have access to that if you want. Because I know there's a lot of real estate agents that follow us. And if you're in another business, uh, they'll probably get some good video ideas for your own content. And it, nonetheless, there's a introduction script in there, so how to introduce yourself and really like make a video about like who you are and what you do, which can be pretty cool. But the reason that I wanted to kind of jump in here today and talk about this on my way out here is um, I think so many of us know we need to produce content. We feel like we should be do producing content, but we don't always know what to say. And that's why I'm hoping these guys like know what to say so they can produce something. Um, but for the most part, most of us have so much to say, we just don't get it out there. And I made it a priority in my life, I wanna say a year ago, but maybe it's only been like six months, that I would try to create something every single week um, about my business, in my business, for my business, so that you guys can benefit from this. And so we started Facebook Friday, which is one of our episodic things we've done now, um, 114 shows, I think this Friday. So that's been going on for over two years, which is awesome. We do a question and answer show uh, every single week on Mondays, and it's, uh, I think, episode number 27 or 28 this week, maybe. Um, so we answer your top four questions. I do a vlog, like you're watching here, every single week. Uh, and now more recently, for the last, let's see, I think it's been two months, maybe three months, we've done uh, daily lives. So I'm getting to the point where I'm doing daily content. And I think that that's the beauty of what all these social media tools that we have available at our fingertips. Literally, like while I'm driving here, how fast am I going? 85 miles an hour, got my phone plugged in, got my mic hooked up. Um, sometimes I'm live streaming to Facebook when I'm doing this, but just the amount of technology that exists, it's incredible. And it uh, affords me the luxury of being able to when I feel like it, and when I'm inspired, create content for you guys so that you guys can follow along and, and learn from the things that I'm learning and do from the things that I'm showing you guys how to do. It's just incredible to me. So take advantage of these opportunities that we have. Take advantage of Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and even just the recording app on your phone that I'm recording this with right now. Uh, and, and use these great tools to get your message out there to show how amazing your content is to teach your clients more about you and, and why you care about them and, and why you're there to serve them and uh don't be afraid you know my go back and watch like episodes one through i would say even like one through 40 man 
on uh, Facebook Friday, they were so rough. Like I was outside, the mic was terrible. Um, I got garbage trucks in the background, like beep, 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 right backing up. Uh, there's just a lot going on. And I knew that I had to do it, but I didn't know how to make it great. I just knew that I needed to get comfortable and I need to find my voice and I needed to get it out there. Uh, and I'm still not perfect. I'm still not great, but I'm consistently showing up every single day. And I think that that's what I want to show you guys in this journey of what I do is just keep trying, keep doing, keep experimenting, keep playing with it, keep finding out your groove, your thing, your voice, uh, and see what works for you. So, um, I guess my message for you is just go create, go make something, um, get over the fact that you're gonna like say things you probably shouldn't. And you're probably gonna mumble if you mumble and you're gonna say um a lot and like a lot and so a lot and all those words that you're not supposed to use for some reason. Um, but figure out how to craft your story and figure out how to tell your story better. And Again, like I give you guys little tips so that you guys can see how to do this. There's so much content out there that teaches you how to tell a better story. So just just get comfortable with it and get your message out there. And the reason why, and this is everyone wants to know, why, why should I create content? What's this gonna do for anybody? Um, you know, obviously it's gonna make you a better speaker. It's gonna be able to help narrow down your message so that you know exactly what you do. And I think that's one of the biggest thing that it's done for me is it's created so much clarity in what we do, right? So we, sorry, I'm trying to swallow. I always have this like, you gotta swallow when I'm on this video. <laughs> we help our clients attract their dream clients, okay? And that's, that's what I've found. By doing all this content that we created, that that's our message. We help you guys create content to attract your dream clients. Swallowing again. <laughs> we have to help you get your message out there so that you can teach people what you do, show them how your product's amazing, how you service your clients better than everybody else in the industry does, and, and why you stand out, and why they should work with you. So get comfortable with that. Um, I guess the point is, is get to the point where you can create content on a daily basis so that you're familiar with your message, your audience knows exactly what you do. As I can't remember the guy's name right now, I think it's Greg and StoryBrand says, when you confuse, you lose. And I think so many people don't know how to give their quick 20 second elevator pitch uh, in a way that's clear and precise and you know exactly what you're doing that you probably confuse most of your clients. So use these tools, use these strategies to get your message out there. Keep creating, keep documenting, keep sharing your life, keep showing what it is that you do in your life, right? Like I, I try to bring you guys into my life as much as I can, show you what I'm doing every single day, uh, teach you the pr principles of what I'm learning uh, so that you can do it in your business as well. And P.S. if you're ever out in Temecula and you wanna come hear me speak to a bunch of real estate agents, whether you are a real estate agent or not, I think these tactics will work for your business. Um, love for you to show up. Come just shake my hand, come say hi. And uh, anyway, yeah, that's my message. So that's uh, that's what this week's vlog. Um, I still gotta get some awesome B-roll to support our story this week, but I think that that's our message. And I think that you guys can take this bit of information uh, and use it in your own life. So that's my message. Thanks guys for being here. Thanks for consuming the uh, everything that we do. Somebody asked me how many how many pieces of content do you create every single week? Uh, and, and I don't know the exact number, but it's over two hours worth of content every single week, which is crazy to me. Like that's more than what most sitcoms do. Remember back in the day of like Seinfeld and Friends, like, and I'm obviously not at that level, <laughs> obviously, but they made a 22 minute show once a week. Uh, and I'm doing two hours. So I'm, I'm super proud of where we are and where we've come and, and the amount of content that we distribute on this channel. So. Thanks for following, guys. We will see you next week. If you haven't done so already, subscribe below, hit the button, uh, and 